For 63 years, legendary newsman Stan Chambers reported a record of over 22,000 stories. Consider the titan of Los Angeles. His long and prestigious TV career began and ended right here at KTLA. Hello, everyone. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Micah Ullman. It is with heavy hearts we learn of Stan Chambers passing. This newsroom, our city, and television news has lost one of the greatest reporters our airwaves have ever seen or heard. No one will ever fill that chair or touch the microphone the way Stan did. But as we grieve, we also celebrate his extraordinary life and exceptional career. Right before Stan signed off on his 87th birthday back in 2010, I got the chance to sit down with the patriarch of primetime news. Now a look back at the birth of TV and the budding journalist who would become a legendary newsman. This is the Telecopter Station, KTLA Channel 5, Los Angeles. It was undeniably a game changer. The year, 1958. Resourceful, visionary engineers at KTLA hunting for ways in which to better report breaking news from anywhere in Southern California devised the very first news gathering helicopter, quickly dubbed the KTLA Telecopter. This means when you see that flashing light on this telecopter, get to Channel 5 right away for the big story. The equipment had to be smaller, only essential equipment, get the weight down, find something that will be, will be stable, because it were a whole new era. Nobody ever had live pictures from the air. Everybody in Los Angeles knew when some major news story happened, KTLA and the helicopter would be there. So we went through many a fire, many a flood, many explosion, many a riot, and the viewer was right there in the middle of it. There was no better showcase for the capabilities and value of the KTLA helicopter than in 1961, when from the air and on the ground, Stan and the KTLA news team delivered images of the devastating Bel Air fires. My, my girlfriend's father. Well, what's his name? And, his name no, is no, Horashi. Horashi, and what's oh. the address? Don't get excited. Oh. Viewers watched the fire's progress, tracked on a KTLA newsroom wall map as it burned out of control for two days, destroying 456 homes in Brentwood and Bel Air. Yet amid the heat and the chaos, Stan Chambers kept his characteristic cool. Coming in very low, right at the front of the fire, drops its load, and we all pray that it hits. You covered so many fires. Talk about the ability to remain calm. The pattern I worked out is I'm talking to the camera and there are a lot of people around, there's a lot of chaos on around, but when I'm on, I'm talking to that one person at home behind the camera, and I still do that. Veteran news producer Gerald Rubin worked with Stan at KTLA for 33 years, where together they won countless awards. Rubin says, on breaking news, in the moment, his money's on Stan. Stan Chambers is a producer's dream. He's the best live shot reporter I know. There is no equal to Stan in that department. He subscribed to the journalistic adage, get it first, but first get it right. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to News Control. Stan became such a reliable, trusted face to L.A. viewers that in 1964, when KTLA launched the first local news show from an actual working newsroom, it was Stan at quarterback. As you can see, we're here in our new news control. And continuing their appetite for innovation, Stan and KTLA, for a while, tried their hand at letting star pro athletes themselves deliver the sports news. Tonight, we welcome a wonderful fellow, a great pitcher, Don Drysdale. Nice to have you, Don. Thank you, Stan. Nice to be aboard. Yesterday at Dodger Stadium, why, we got a little bit lucky. Granted, some new ideas worked better than others. Another new idea at KTLA in 1962 forever revolutionized daily TV viewing habits. News in the morning and the host, you guessed it. When it started, uh, I would go behind a desk. Uh, I would have a script in hand and then I would have very laboriously written that script in longhand and it was on a little wooden rack where you rolled it, the words would come up 
and uh, you get your, your newscast in. Truly an icon, it was Stan Chambers' signature warmth and caring that connected viewers to him and his stories. I certainly felt it. And we will never forget Stan's smile in the newsroom. And while his chair is empty, he will always be part of the KTLA family and be known by Los Angeles as the storyteller of our city. Our tribute to the legendary newsman Stan Chambers continues with an up-close look at the stories that put him on the map and how his reporting was the calm during California's biggest moments of crisis. Stay with us. Our special celebration of Stan's remarkable life. We'll be right back. He's kind of this lost art of a gentleman who knew how to get the news, be tough, but always do it in such a respectful, nice way. He inspired people to actually watch television. He inspired people to become journalists and you can't be sad when somebody lives to 91 years old, but I, I just can't think of LA without him. Closed captioning is provided by Sizzler. Hey, it's your appetite. Today's a great day to call an old friend and tell him, meet me at Sizzler for a steak and pasta reunion. Three classic dishes starting at an unbelievable $10.99. Sizzler steak and pasta reunion. Handcrafted favorites together again. Tu mi racconti di te, di un mondo che fu. Eppure mi è rimasto nel cuore. Che tu avevi per me. Vorrei tornare indietro per un momento. The Range Rover Evoke. Land Rover, above and beyond. Oh, Chris, did you remember to pay the dog sitter? Oh, I knew I forgot something. I'll just do it now. Well, we're boarding. No, I'll use City Mobile. It takes two seconds. Better safe than sorry, right? Yeah, who knows if we'll even get service on the islands. What? No service? Seriously? You guys might actually have to talk. <gasps> to each other? We do it all the time. I like it. Should we? No. Bank from almost anywhere with the City Mobile app. To learn more, visit city.com slash easier banking. Soccer legend Mia Hamm has always been driven to be the best. And so is Mazda. It's why we engineer highly acclaimed cars like the Mazda 6. J.D. Power has awarded the Mazda 6 the highest ranked vehicle appeal among mid-sized cars. The 2015 Mazda 6. What do you drive? Now, during the Mazda President's Day sales event, lease the 2015 Mazda 6 Sport with zero due at lease signing. So, so. Food is more than just a meal. Food is love. At Monsanto, we believe everyone deserves a healthy, balanced meal and a future that sustains us all. It's time for a bigger discussion about food. Be part of the conversation at discover.monsanto.com. Everybody loves a bun. Uh, can I help you? Oh, I'm just looking out for my car. This is my car. Oh, yeah, but I'm the second owner. The what? I'm going to own the Z6 after you. Oh. Oh, heads up, heads up. Hey, kid, before you get in our car, you want to knock some of that dirt off? The Audi Certified Pre-Owned Program delivers the highest quality cars. Good news for the second owner. All right, I got you covered as you back out. Visit your local dealer to learn about the many benefits of our comprehensive Audi Certified Pre-Owned Program. the face of KTLA News and in Stan Chambers' distinguished television tenure, the respected reporter covered every major news event from the steep tradition of the Rose Parade to LA's worst natural disasters, even high profile crime like the Manson murders. Hello everyone, I'm Cher Calvin and I am honored to be here celebrating the life and career of Stan Chambers, the legendary newsman. I'm Micah Ullman. While the news of Stan Chambers passing still echoes throughout the city, KTLA pays homage to the man who narrated newscasts and reported with a trusted point of view. The focus of every frame, facts, truth, justice, and simple good storytelling. His personality, a pillar of KTLA, and it was Stan Chambers who Southern California turned to in times of trouble. But Stan had no clue it was the assignment of Kathy Fiscus, a three-year-old girl who fell into a well. 
that would be one of the most memorable of his career. In 1949, little Kathy Fiscus fell into an open well in a field in San Marino. Right behind the rescue crews to the scene were news crews from KTLA broadcasting to the small but growing LA television audience. And on hand to relate the drama as it developed, reporter Stan Chambers. So we went out there. It was underway, been underway for several hours. Big open field couple of holes in the ground with different equipment and dozens and dozens of volunteers. So Bill Welch and I uh, were on and I think it was about maybe 28 hours straight. KTLA's and Stan's continuous coverage of the human drama became a rallying point of the people of Los Angeles. It was such a, an emotional moment because here in your living room you're watching this little girl hoping to save her life. And we were on long enough so it applied to everybody, whether he had a television set or not. Neighbors visit neighbors. Uh, stores stayed open all night. The whole city is there hoping and praying that they could save little Kathy. Did you realize the impact you were having during no, the moment? No. I remember sitting on a stump next to the rescue scene, wondering now who would be watching this? Because it, it was beyond my comprehension. We, something like this I'd never heard of before. Little did you know everybody was watching. That's right. And they watched and they told friends. And uh, not only that, but the key that changed everything is they bought television sets. Sadly, despite the prayers from the city, little Kathy did not survive her tumble into the well. But what did survive was an awareness for the power of live TV news. That was the real secret because there weren't many television sets available. Most people didn't have them, didn't know anybody. But when this started, people were watching over the neighbor's house that they never met before. All over the city, people were clustering in front of this television set. And it was on so long and it was so emotional that many of those people said, we've got to get a television set for our house. So. In addition to the, to the sheer drama and the disappointments and talking to the men who went down to try to rescue her, the impact that it made on the viewer at home is really what opened television in uh, Southern California. And 19 years later, L.A. turned to Stan Chambers again to make sense of the assassination that changed a nation. <laughs> When Robert F. Kennedy was gunned down by Sirhan, Sirhan in the hotel kitchen, KTLA went live with Stan Chambers in the studio and only the sketchiest of details. I heard he's been shot, somebody's been shot. And that's all I had, I have no idea who or how or, but as you know, you've got to keep, keep talking and it was still the screaming of, uh, of the audience at the ambassador. It is unbelievable that it could happen. Is there a doctor in the house? Quiet! All right. Quiet, quiet. You're on the air here. You hear somebody's been shot. You don't know who at this point. I had no idea what happened. So you automatically you, you say, well, now wait a minute. We don't know what this is to yourself. So uh, that wonderful line, just the facts, ma'am, just the facts. So only when you knew something or the camera was showing something, and you knew what that something was and how that related to the big picture. And that was, it was uh, again, it's, it's minutes or, or micro minutes before we uh, found out that it was Robert Kennedy. Shortly after the speech, uh, Senator Kennedy left the podium, went out through an entranceway behind the podium as if going to the kitchen. And there he was shaking hands with some of the kitchen help. And that's when the shooting took place. And Stan Chambers' ride on the nightly news roller coaster would go from monumentally tragic to poignantly uplifting. In 1972, Stan answered the call at the scene of a young boy named Anthony Bernardino, who had fallen into an open well. The story so reminiscent of the Kathy Fiscus tragedy, Stan reported decades earlier. But one key difference, this time a happy ending. He has the boy. The boy has on the white hat. The boy's moving around and talking to them. He's talking to them. He's talking to them. They lay him on the uh, gurney, the, the mobile stretcher. I think, Dick, he's okay. 
Stan's accurate reporting, all the while imbued with joy at young Anthony's rescue, speaks volumes about how much Stan genuinely cares about people. What's your name? Arthur. Huh? Arthur. Arthur. Can I shake your hand? <laughs> He really was a pioneer of the press and truly created the concept of live news coverage. Stan died at 91, and every journalist can only dream of such an illustrious and accomplished body of work. As we remember the man behind the microphone, we regard his acclaimed eye for news. In fact, his reputation held in such high regard when George Holliday wanted to bring his Rodney King raw footage to a news station, there was only one option. KTLA and Stan Chambers. Coming up, the video, the story, and the violence that divided the nation and left a scar on our city. Come back as we pay tribute to Stan Chambers, the legendary newsman. So, for the last time, Stan Chambers, Channel 5, News at 10. More excitement. More tunes. More versatility. Get holiday bonus cash only at Nissan Now. Get up to $1,000 bonus cash on top of existing offers on select models. Shop ChooseNissan.com. At El Pollo Loco, we put our marinated Baja shrimp on our avocado tacos. Then Jose brilliantly suggested Baja shrimp in our poblano burrito. But we didn't stop there because Miguel was inspired and put our delicious Baja shrimp on our tostada salad and ultimate double bowl. Then Bob filled the piñata with our new shrimp. We're gonna miss Bob. Now at El Pollo Loco, get our new Baja shrimp on all your favorite menu items. El Pollo Loco, crazy you can taste. In the fraction of time we spend driving in reverse, about half a million accidents occur each year, which is why the Infiniti QX60 has world's first safety technology available like backup collision intervention, which can break even before you do, to help keep everyone safe. Lease the Infiniti QX60 for $369 a month. Visit your Southern California Infiniti retailer. Lowe's presents How to Put Your Foot in Your Mouth. Man, wish my yard looked like yours. Hey, the grass is always greener on the other side of the... Sorry. Now get the Works Power Equipment Combo Kit for $99 at Lowe's. We're a punchline. Not even one suspect. And now I have the commissioner riding me. You see a saddle on my back, McKay? Now I need you people to get uh, up Sarge, there. Sarge, what is it? This is great. We gotta move. That's my point. No, my wife's got book club in here. You gotta be kidding me. So we need to move this to the den. Everybody up! Pause and pick up your show in any room. With AT&T, the U-verse revolves around you. More excitement. More tunes. More versatility. Get holiday bonus cash only at Nissan Now. Get up to $1,000 bonus cash on top of existing offers on select models. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Our number one priority is always, of course, getting you the news, you get the weather, you get the traffic. We do the best job of covering local news, hands down. We try to hit that fine line between giving the information that people need, but also bring a little laughter into their morning. We'll help everybody out with a couple of alternates. Let's go to Sky 5. The KTLA 5 Morning News. Don't miss a beat of Southern California. The city of Angels has lost one, and the news industry says goodbye to the founding father of Southern California news. Stan Chambers passed on at 91, but his legend will live on for those he influenced and touched, especially here at KTLA. Channel 5 has always been known for its reporting, and in 1991, an unprecedented piece of video brought exclusively to KTLA set the stage for one of our country's biggest racial divides. Reporting in the center of the storm, the calm, the collected, the informed, Stan Chambers. Some of you may find this very disturbing. I say that to warn you before you look at it. It was 1991 when Stan Chambers received a controversial piece of videotape from amateur videographer George Halliday. It showed, in graphic detail, motorist Rodney King being beaten by four LAPD officers. When you had the tape in your hand, 
Did you realize the magnitude of what you were holding? Not really, because this just happened and we were doing a story. Um, I, I, had, I had never even given thought of it not being used. I think those are, those are calls that we are all going to have to make. And uh, if you don't do it, why aren't you doing it? And so it's, this is what happens. This is there, and so we show it. He had his video camera out, and it recorded what happened as the suspect was being arrested. Stan broke the KTLA exclusive on the videotape, then followed the story through to its explosive conclusion, LA's angry, violent reaction to the police officer's acquittals. Two car fires just broke out here at the corner of Normandy and Florence, uh, right in the uh, parking area of that liquor store. It was a, a tragedy, a very serious event but it was a part of our, of our whole lifestyle, a part of our community. So that when it happened and you have video, it's your responsibility to share this with those who were her watching because this actually happened. But this wasn't the first time Stan was on the scene when our city erupted in chaos. August 1965, the drunk driving arrest of 21-year-old Marquette Fry sparks the terrible Watts riots. Let me join you just for a moment, sir. What is the latest information that you received in your conversation with 77th well, Street? It's uh, one of containment now with an established perimeter. That Stan Chambers reported live from Los Angeles Police Emergency Headquarters during the five days of violence that left 34 dead and more than $40 million in property damage. Could you tell us how it was tonight compared to last night? Well, Stan, in my 15 years in the news business, this is undoubtedly the worst thing I think I've ever seen involving violence that I've ever seen. And in that war zone that was Watts, it was Stan Chambers and his camera's unblinking eye who held the city's anger up to the light for all to see. And now as we cut back to the west towards Central Avenue, you can see the flames coming out of the buildings directly across the street. Television has done a very good job. There are a lot of critics, there will always be critics, but I think each and every newsman knows he has an opportunity to really help everybody. This is what really happened. This is what really took place. Stan's classic style of reporting has inspired countless young journalists to enter the field while also raising the bar for those of us already here. His presence still a guiding light in the studio and his legacy lives on right here at KTLA. There is still more in our tribute coming up. Stan the family man off camera and behind the scenes. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Mr. Stan Chamber. There it is. All right. <laughs> Want to give your bedroom a whole new look? Ross has everything you need for a fraction of what you'd pay elsewhere. Like this rug, $90 at department stores, but at Ross, it's less than $50. For home, there's no place like Ross. It's Cerritos Auto Square's President's Sale, going on now. Picture yourself getting a great deal on a new or used car at Cerritos Auto Square. Shop the world's largest selection of cars from over 23 brands at the President's Sale that'll have you saying, Yes, Cerritos Auto Square. Everybody loves a bun. Uh, can I help you? Oh, I'm just looking out for my car. This is my car. Oh, yeah, but I'm the second owner. The what? I'm going to own the Z6 after you. Oh. Oh, heads up, heads up. Hey, kid, before you get in our car, you want to knock some of that dirt off? The Audi Certified Pre-Owned Program delivers the highest quality cars. Good news for the second owner. All right, I got you covered as you back out. Visit your local dealer to learn about the many benefits of our comprehensive Audi Certified Pre-Owned Program. I make a lot of purchases for my business, and I get a lot in return with Ink Plus from Chase. Like 60,000 bonus points when I spent $5,000 in the first three months after I opened my account. And I earned five times the rewards on internet phone services and at office supply stores. With Ink Plus, I can choose how to redeem my points, travel, gift cards, even cash back. And my rewards points won't expire. So you can make owning a business even more rewarding. Ink from Chase, so you can.
Visit your Southern California Jaguar retailer during the Mark Your Territory sales event. Rover Sport. Land Rover above and beyond. Do you want your living room to go from okay to oh wow? Go to Ross. You'll find fabulous things at huge savings. This table's $80 elsewhere, but at Ross, it's less than $40. For home, there is no place like Ross. know when you are in the presence of greatness and when people turned the dial and tuned in to Stan Chambers, they knew and they listened. His 91 years of life were not only full of award-winning stories and journalistic firsts. When the red light of the camera turned off, his heart was filled by family. The legendary newsman was a husband, a father of 11, plus a grandfather to 38 and great-grandfather to eight. Now, an intimate look at the man you trusted to invite into your home for 63 years and even considered a friend. Happy New Happy Year, New everyone! Year. It's been all of Southern California's pleasure to see Stan's smiling face to start each new year, along with the rest of the KTLA news team on site in Pasadena for countless rose parades. Stephanie and Bob, really, this is the way you should enjoy the parade. It's such a, a wonderful event because everybody's there because they want to be there. It's an event because it's a new year. Is it an event because they have this, these wonderful floats that are getting ready for the big parade? So it's one of those few events that really explodes in happiness and excitement every year. Rose Parade mainstay Bob Eubanks has enjoyed starting his new year with Stan. Just such an incredibly wonderful person. I mean, God built an angel that day. Recording. From New Year's to his birthday, his 87th was such a special one. It was also the day of Stan's KTLA retirement. Not surprisingly, the day became an enormous outpouring of love from all of his professional colleagues. The standing ovation for Stan also included his wife Gigi and members of his big extended family honoring his long service to the community. But before his goodbye, one final farewell sign off. So, for the last time, Stan Chambers, Channel 5, News at 10. Following in his footsteps, grandson Jamie Chambers. I mean, he really was the real deal. He, from, from when he got up in the morning, he was the sweetest guy you'd ever met. And when he went to bed, he was still the sweetest guy you ever met. I wish that life could always be like this. Oh. I love him so deeply, um, not just as a, a grandfather, but as a mentor, as a, as a role model, and as someone that I'll always try to aspire to be like. Um, I'm thrilled and honored to have some of his blood running through my veins. When all the celebrations subsided, we found Stan at home with his wife, Gigi, their coffee, and of course, their morning papers, all quiet on the patio until Stan's youngest daughter, Lizzie, dropped by with her family, including the youngest member of the Chambers clan, little Charlie, aged two weeks. He's only six pounds right now. He's really? so tiny, yeah. yeah. stories of 1967. In the name of news, Stan Chambers traveled the globe for KTLA. He reported from Moscow's Red Square for the Goodwill Games. And in preparation for Pope John Paul II's historic visit to Los Angeles in 1987, Stan greeted His Holiness at the Vatican. It seems only fitting then that Stan has earned every broadcasting and civic award that Los Angeles has to offer. He received his own star on the Walk of Fame in 1982. Mr. Stan Chamber! There it is, right. And 28 years later, at the spry young age of 87, Stan was honored with a proclamation from the city of Los Angeles at Stan Chambers Day. Of all the cities in the United States, Los Angeles is the gem. That's the one. And we've been able to report in that city for all these years. 
That's something that's just absolutely unbelievable. Yours is an enormous body of work. In a broad sense, what do you see as the Stan Chambers legacy? To know about your city, to know about yourself, to not be afraid of getting involved and in trying to resolve a problem. For many of us, it's an opportunity to be a part and seeing what we can do to help that. So, for the last time, Stan Chambers, Channel 5, News at 10. What an amazing man and journalist, and we here at KTLA consider ourselves lucky to stand on the shoulders of the great Stan Chambers. As Stan's final sign-off, we here at KTLA know this chair can never be filled. That microphone will never record the voice that spoke and informed so many in Southern California. But the legendary newsman will never be forgotten. And in every breaking news story, there will always be an heir of Stan Chambers. Thank you.